as of this hour. New Zealand has done a now an ambitious new plan here in California hopes to stop future generations from smoking by phasing out the sale of tobacco. Yeah, a new state bill would prevent anyone born after 2006 from buying tobacco products. Our political reporter Morgan Reiner joins us now. Morgan, how would this even work? Well, it would mean a lifelong ban for anyone under the age of 16 right now. Even when today's kids reach the age of 21, they would not be allowed to buy tobacco products if this bill passes. The tobacco industry told me they are gearing up for an expensive fight. It took Tony Georgie a second to tell me how he feels about tobacco. How do you feel about phasing out tobacco in California? I'm all for it. Why? Uh, it's not good for you. It kills people. He supports Assemblymember Damon Connolly's attempt to phase it out with a bill that says anyone born after January 1st, 2007 can't buy tobacco products in California. It definitely is very expensive. People started getting dependent on it and it's crazy to think people are really ruining their lives. Nahal Naraya sees the impact tobacco has over family members and supports the idea too. It messes with their head. It, they have mental health issues. Um, I've seen it plenty of times in my own family, so I don't want others to experience that themselves. But Charles Janigan says it's their choice to smoke. Just is not fair to those who enjoy smoking. He is the president of the California Association of Retail Tobacconists. He said the state will lose billions. You know, the state of California is the beneficiary to well in excess of a billion dollars in tobacco tax revenue annually. And so will small business owners. There's approximately 20,000 retailers in the state of California who sell tobacco products. And out of that 20,000, there may be uh, two or 3,000 uh, shops that are dedicated strictly to the sale of uh, premium cigars, pipe tobacco. He's ready to fight this. It's not going to go through, but, you know, we're, we're going to oppose it uh, with all of our might. This bill will not criminalize anyone in that age category if they are caught in possession of tobacco or smoking tobacco. This will penalize the stores for selling it. Morgan, have other places in the U.S. done this and has it survived any legal challenge? The Associated Press reports that there is one city in Massachusetts that passed a ban on selling tobacco for anyone born after January 1st, 2000, and so far no, court, no courts have said that can't remain in effect. We'll see what happens next. Morgan Reiner reporting live from Sacramento. Morgan, thanks.